Well, rather than uh, storing oxygen in acetylene, <laughs> we have a plasma cutter. It's just so much less to deal with. I really like the plasma cutters. I've had quite a few of them, and this one just came in a couple of weeks ago. And this is from Best Arc, and it is, well, it's going to be an interesting one because it runs 110 or 220. So let's get this thing out of the box and talk about the features, the numbers, and let's cut some metal today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so boom, I took everything out of the box. We got the plasma cutter and the accessories to the plasma cutter in a box here, all well packed, I must say. Yes, very well packed. There was a lot of plastic to remove <laughs> when I got to this point. Uh, first thing I noticed with this particular cutter, we're gonna just go to the back here for a second, is you'll see right here, you have an, uh, a nice uh, air fitting right here where you can just you know hook on and there's a water gate, a water collector by looks of a little water filter, I guess we'll call it back here. So that's a really, that's sort of a good starting place right there. But you, if you're like me, you'll be wondering, well, how do I adjust air pressure? Well, if you go to the front, you'll see this big red knob that unlocks and you can turn it back and forth and lock it back in. So apparently you can adjust the air pressure right off the front. And that's really for a plasma cutter. That's a, that's a really nice accessory right there. I like that. And the cord is about six feet long, well, not quite, about almost six feet long. So it's got a fair, fairly good cord reach on it. Comes with a 220 plug, but I guess in the box here, when we open it up, we'll find out that there is an accessory here where we can convert to a 110 machine. So it can use 110 or 220. I like 220 for most of my machines, but uh, the last few years with this technology going on, these smaller, smaller units, the inverter technology and stuff, this stuff has gotten so good that the 110 is actually decent. You know, it never used to be that way, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna be trying a couple of different things. We'll, we'll try the 220, we'll try the 110, I guess both. See if there's any difference. Uh, hopefully there really, maybe there even isn't. Uh, that would be amazing. Got some pretty nice features up the front here too, besides the uh, <coughs> the color. Best art, uh, really hit my heart here. <laughs> yeah, I, I like teal, you know, it reminds me of the Caribbean or something, and uh, that's beautiful blue, that, or teal color they've got here on the machine. They're calling it green. Uh, apparently I'm colorblind, who knew? <laughs> so let's get the accessory box open and have a look. Oh yeah. And we're presented with, yep, there it is, the quick converter plug to a 110. Sort of expected to see that right away. So the next thing, of course, is the airline. Uh, they give you some airline, and it's a quick connect at the back here. So I'm not sure why they do that, but it's nice to have. And you've got some spare tips for the electrodes for the plasma part of the, the uh, machine anyway. So that's a good thing. And some Teflon tape, which is, again, you know, always nice to have a little of that if you need it. Now the pilot arc is right here. Here's the cable with the pilot arc on it. All set to go. All we gotta do is hook it up. Now it's a nice long cable too. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out the length on this guy. And also the ground. The ground is, uh, looks like it's fairly decent too for length. We'll have to clip that holder so we can get this all laid out and figure out how much length we got. But the machine is beautiful. I do love the look of the machine. It looks like a nice one. So we're going to go over the welding table and we'll get set up and uh, we'll start doing some uh, cutting. <laughs> yeah. We're set up to cut right now, but I wanted to answer a couple of quick questions. Okay, the cable is about 10 feet long, so that's, that's pretty good. And oddly enough, the ground cable here, which is also which we hook up to uh, our here, is uh, about nine feet long in cables. So you can have the machine pretty far back from your job. So I've uh, I've got everything set up here to cut this piece of steel plate. Now uh, on 110, you can't cut as thick, and so your settings are going to be a little bit different. You are more limited. So yes, the 220 is a stronger setting. It's that's always been the case. I, it's one of the reasons I prefer 220 is it just makes a, str a stronger machine for you and sometimes you need it, you know. Now, when I turn the machine on, I've already got my air pressure plugged in on the back side and it's got a really cool gauge right here and you can adjust the air pressure up and down, which and I'll just turn that off right now. I don't need to adjust it, but I've got a one green line there plus the red. It will also go up in, back into the red if you have too much air pressure. So, smart, yes. Now, the book also has a little chart, so I'm only cutting, I think this is uh, about 3 16th or so steel, it's fairly light gauge. So I'm, I'm cranked down to 20 amps on, my, uh, on the uh, arc, or the 
pilot right now, if you like, the, the plasma. I'm at 20 amp, so I'll only be blasting with 20 amps of pressure to get that cut. Now, when I let the switch go, it, the air will continue for a few seconds until it shuts off. Also right now, okay, the fan is not on right now, but the fan will kick on if the machine gets warmed up. Right now it's kind of cold, so it's not running. The fan's not, the cooling fan is not running. We've got our simple connections all hooked up here. We've got our ground hooked up, ground here. Got a couple magnets just holding a piece of steel in place. We'll just do a quick cut, but uh, then we'll get into a little bit more of this stuff. So I'm just going to hold the helmet in front of me here a little bit and just do a, a quick blast of some steel. And you'll notice the air is still going. Now it's calmed down. Now the cooling fan is now running on the unit because we, we, we got a little bit of heat on the unit now from using it. And we just did a quick little slot cut with it. One of the things I really like with a, a pilot arc type like this is this is what's actually contacting the steel. So you can actually drag it across the steel like this. Now, so speed-wise, she'll cut pretty fast. And that's at the lowest, probably just about, yeah, it is. That's the lowest setting. So we can crank it up. If we have uh, some real thick, like, half-inch material, we can go with uh, 50 amp. We might have to go with more air pressure. The machine will alarm or tell me if I need more air. Let's just, for the heck of it, we'll hit it with the uh, maxed out here on this uh, quarter inch piece of steel I've got. Whew. Yeah, that's, okay, that's a little bit crazy. <laughs> that, that virtually blasted it right through. But we don't need to do that. There's no reason to, I guess, if we're trying to just make a nice cut. Now, it'll dial down to about 15 amps and then it stops. So you can only bottom out so far. But there's a chart with the uh, instructions that tell you the thickness of the steel as to what these settings should be. Look at this beautiful uh, layout we've got here. Now, if I want the air on, I can't override it by doing hitting this switch here, and I've got air. Now, you might want to use air to help cool it, part down, or something like that, and just shut it back off. Also, make sure that you've got steady air pressure, which we do. Uh, a little low here, still 31. You could probably, I don't know if I can get that up higher or not because I've got my compressor set low, so. I don't have a lot of air pressure. Yeah, see, I'm not getting any more from the gauge here to adjust, so I would have to run the compressor up to get more than 31 pounds of air pressure. One thing I've always noticed with uh, plasma cutters is you really need to watch the air. Keep the air pressure uh, down compared to you know what you might be thinking. Uh, Current-wise, this is a pretty good surprising machine because at 220, at only about 20 amps, we had a really nice cut. In fact, I could probably drop that to 15 amps and I'll probably still be able to cut this steel. Let's just see if we can do a little damage here. Yeah, not, obviously it's not cutting as fast, but it's still going, still going through pretty good. I wouldn't, I would use a little higher setting just because that way you can just slice the steel off really quickly. Um, this is one of the great things about plasma cutters. I don't have gas bottles, I don't have any of that. All I gotta do is hit this switch, which if you've ever seen a plasma cutter, this is what it looks like. There, you kinda get a good look at the, the hot little electrons flying through the air. Yeah, plasma. <laughs> well, as I promised, let's try the 110. Uh, let's see if we can blow a breaker or something and mess something up. That's, that's why we can't have good stuff around here. It's because of me. All right. Shut her off for a minute and I'm just going to plug into the uh, 110. Okay, well now we'll fire it back up. Let's see if we get anywhere. This is now plugged into 110. Uh -huh. Now it's deciding what to do. Oh wow, okay. So theoretically we're all hooked up. We haven't changed the settings, although the Air pressure is a little higher for some reason. That's kind of weird. All right, let's see what we can do. Hmm. Really not bad. Tell you the truth, uh, at this point, I don't see any difference because of the you know quarter inch steel plate I'm cutting. But uh, that. Air pressure thing's a little strange. I thought that would be lower than 
Let's see if we can lower that down. Nope. We really don't have any control over that air right now because I've only got a little bit of air coming out of the compressor. I haven't got the compressor fully set to 100 pounds or something. Interesting. Wow, wait. Okay. Now the fan's running. Again, when you're doing this uh, and the fan's running like that, leave the machine running for a little bit. Let that fan cool the machine down. This, the machine will just last longer, okay? <laughs> now there's the air pressure coming down a little bit now. Wow. I want to also um, talk about the difference between the 110 and the 220. At 110, you can cut up to about 3 eighths or 10 millimeters of material. They say if you are going to cut heavier than that, like 12 millimeter half inch material, you should have the 220 feet. So that's really kind of the difference. That's it. Yeah. What an awesome machine, though. Wow. This this is a premium. This is a really nice plasma cutter. I had to uh, open the door because of the the fumes are building up in the garage. So open the door, let the air out. And the man, my shoes on fire. I'll be right back. <coughs> Okay, before I make my next cut, I'm going to make a, a nice straight cut. Uh, I'm going to provide a link in the description below, but I really highly say, you know what, check back with us sometimes in a few days or a week or something and uh, see if anything has changed. A lot of times, uh, 24 hours, 48 hours later or something, we get a coupon sometimes or a discount code later on down the road that we can add to the description below to where you can get the machine for, you know, just save that little bit more money. So I always try to get people to you know check back with us because a lot the coupons come in sometimes uh, a lot later. I'm going to make a straight cut. Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick was uh, the speed of cutting. It's uh, the 220 setting with a 220 volt. It will cut up. They say to cut around 200 millimeters per minute. I don't know how that compares with a uh, cutting torch set. I think that's uh, about the same speed. Maybe, I'm not sure. It just feels like it's faster, but uh, it really depends, I guess, on your uh, oxygen acetylene bottle setup and what have you. The plasma, obviously, it really does a nice, I think it does a better cut. It does a really nice straight cut, but uh, I'm gonna take a slice out of this thing and then we'll take a look at the cut, but I'm gonna make a nice straight cut as opposed to this uh, freehand stuff I've been doing here. Looks like doodle art. <laughs> Fire in the hole, as they say, I think. straight. Look, I cut that a little slow, but ah, shoes are on fire again. Ah, God. Mm. All right, just so you can see it, I'll put this galvanized piece of steel here behind it and just show it to you. But there's your, there's the cut. And it's, uh, you know, it's a fairly nice straight cut. I knocked most of the slag off the back, so you can see the backside. And that's the underside, yeah. I took the slag out of it and it's got a nice straight cut. It cuts fairly quickly, but it's it's a plasma cutter. It's supposed to do that, and it does. Yeah. Well, we're back over to the bench. Uh, there was one other thing I didn't really get into, and that's these buttons. Besides the one that you can uh, override for the air, you also have control buttons here. You can uh, program for the uh, pilot arc, you know, and the timing of when you hit the switch and stuff. I didn't have to mess with those because really the machine works great right out of the box, just just the way it is. Uh, air pressure wise, same thing. I love having this at the front where you can just dial it in and it gives you the red and the green tell you, you know, what the pressure is. So awesome machine and it's at a very good price. Plasma cutters used to be so expensive that it was one of those, you know, you dream of having one, but it's not going to happen. Well, it's achievable now because companies like Best Arc here bring these out that are, you know, premium machines at a great price. So yeah, definitely worth looking at. Uh, I'll just throw some numbers at you. For this and uh, it comes with a the manual actually is very good unusual because it's all English all the way to the last page <laughs> something new huh <laughs> there's no other translation thing or uh, something else going on here it's all in English and it's a really good instructional uh, little booklet if you're not familiar with plasma but you would like to get a cutter that can chop steel you know chop up 
angle iron and plate and whatever for welding projects together the plasma cutter is like it is just nice to have and no bottle torches and stuff you know get off your gas right you know <laughs> and get a plasma cutter <laughs> the this is just this is an absolutely an interesting experience because uh, I've had lots of plasma cutters in before in the past in years but uh, I've got to admit right now this is the nicest plasma cutter unit with the best features I have seen in here to date so that says a lot for yep best arc you know yeah <laughs> that says a lot for them this particular model is the BTC 500 DP I believe the DP stands for the uh, the pilot arc as you saw where you don't have to actually make contact with the steel in order to get the cut going through so yeah uh, great machine what more can I tell you anyways thank you for watching coffee and tools please like share and subscribe ring the notice bell we're giving stuff away I think we have a big giveaway for trimmer uh, router trimmer I think next week I believe next Thursday or something meantime I gotta get out of here and I'm gonna just say over and out